A mass murder shaking an Indianapolis community. Six people killed inside a northeast side home over the weekend. City leaders expressing their anger at this senseless show of violence. I want those responsible to know that the full might of local, state, and federal law enforcement are coming for them. Less than a day after making that promise for justice, IMPD delivered. A 17-year-old family member now behind bars accused of carrying out those killings. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid went back to North Adams Street to get new details about the crime and that teenager's arrest. Police tell me it was a family argument in the middle of the night that led to mass murder here on Adams Street on the city's northeast side and a pursuit of a suspect across county lines. Police say a juvenile killed six family members inside this house just before dawn Sunday, including a pregnant woman and an unborn baby at near full term. Shortly before 4 a.m., police found a wounded teenager in the 3300 block of East 36th Street. When he got to the hospital, according to an IMPD report obtained by Fox 59 News, that teen told police his brother had killed everyone. When police returned to North Adams Street, they found the five bodies in the home. The sixth victim was the near full-term baby boy of 19-year-old Kiara Hawkins, who died along with parents Kezi and Raymond Childs and their children, Elijah and Rita. According to the IMPD report, the survivor who ran for his life said his older brother got in trouble for going out Saturday night, and when he returned home Sunday morning, Raymond Childs told his son they would deal with this later. It was some time later when the child said he heard gunshots upstairs and his sister's voice yelling that they were being shot. The teen said his brother came downstairs where he was with his parents and started shooting. There's a set of unique facts that uh, our detectives uncovered during their investigation that uh, point us fairly quickly in the direction of this young man. As relatives gathered on Adams Street Sunday morning, IMPD detectives were tracking down the older brother. We did receive information from the community, from neighbors, uh, from people that were uh, concerned about what happened. Overnight, the older teen was tracked to an address in Plainfield and arrested. We have a serious problem in our community with people who do not know how to deal with their conflict except with a gun or a blade. As is typical when a juvenile is charged in a capital case, he will most likely be waved over to Superior Court to face adult charges. On the northeast side, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.